nine-year-old daughter. He feels totally justified in abusing you sexually and abusing you violently. He feels totally justified with it. And your mum, by the way, feels totally justified in allowing it as well. All right? This is these, this, I'm just telling you his feelings. But his feelings are way, way out of harmony with taking any responsibility. All right? However, what's happening is because you're in a rage with him and haven't yet got through to feeling your grief about what he's done, he feels he now wants to punish you even more. Right? This is what he feels, that he wants to punish you even more because you're in an unjustified rage with him. That's what he feels. I'm just telling you what he feels. And that's why he's there trying to torment you a lot. All right? Now, the thing that will disconnect you is what Mary's pointed out, and that is to feel your grief about your dad. Once you start feeling your grief, you will no longer project rage at your father, and so then he will have no justification to actually cause you any issues or problems because you've now released out of the area of rage. You're not, at the moment, all of your rage towards your father is going at your father, actually. He's actually feeling it in the spirit world every single moment. Does that make sense? Every single moment that you project rage at him, he's feeling it. And can I just point out, before you say something, and that's how you want it to be. I pay the price then for that rage. For every moment I hang on to it. That's correct. But that's not fair. No, but you want to be in a rage with your dad. That's Doesn't he deserve it? No. Why not? Does anybody deserve your rage? Anybody at all? Does God ever get into a rage with anyone? See, this is where it's really hard when we've been hurt. Remember, love and justice are not the same thing. God's, all of God's laws will correct your father. And this is what you're not getting at at the emotional level. You want you to punish your father. You're not willing for God's laws to address the issue. You want to go further than God's laws and have you address the issue. Do you follow me? By the way, this might sound harsh to many of you who have been harmed in your past, but what I'm telling you is the truth about the spirit world and about life here on earth, and that is no matter what somebody has done to you, and I mean all of these things that have happened to you, Jenny, they were terrible. They were terrible things, horrific things that happened to you. All of them still don't justify you being in a rage with somebody about it. All right? And the reason why is because God has already put into place all these laws that will correct your father. And, some, and for some people like your father, they've spent thousands of years in correction. I know some people personally who have spent thousands of years in correction. In terrible, terrible emotional and physical state in the spirit world being corrected because they just don't want to be corrected. Right? And you're not trusting that God's laws will do that. And so what you're doing is you're choosing instead to project what you feel is justifiable rage at your father. And while you justify your rage, you'll never get to your grief. Can you see what I'm saying? And you want to justify your rage, and I understand why you want to, because of all these terrible things that have been done to you by your father, right? And he's still doing, by the way. He hasn't stopped yet doing these things to you. Is this the only way to stop it? This is the only way to stop it, is for you to get out of justifying your rage and into your grief about your father. You will find you can relieve things that have been going on now for you for years and years and years. If you do this, will change in just a few months. I thought it had stopped when he died, when he took his last breath. No, it actually gets worse. Uh, that's a, what I'm experiencing. It actually gets worse when a person passes. And this is what a lot of people don't understand about corporate punishment. 
You see, a lot of people would think, oh, let's jail your father, put him in jail. And because of what he's done, a lot of people would actually consider killing your father, right, on the planet, on the earth now. A lot of people would consider murdering your father for what he's done. Like, how many of you have felt that way if, if you hear of a child being abused? How many of you have felt like, like I know I've felt it, felt like murdering that person just to stop that abuse, right? So a lot of people feel this. But the only problem with that though is it now releases that person from their physical body and now gives them the ability to do even more damage. You see? When a person's in their spirit form, they can go anywhere they want at any time. So instead of being confined to a location on the earth where he can't go anywhere where he wants at any time, now your dad can go anywhere he wants, anytime he wants. And he can help any person on this planet abuse another child. That's and what he does. he's doing. Yeah, that's right. That's what he's doing. It's so bad that I don't feel like I can be naked. I can't have a shower or I yep. can feel him there all the time. Yeah. And that's what is certainly what he and is he doing. And he masquerades as voices in my head and tells me all sorts of things. And because I have been listening to what you've been saying about not not talking and staying still and shutting up for a change, I've actually just started to, to yeah. hear the different <coughs> voices and the, I know it's him. Mm -hmm. So and you just won't leave me alone. The thing that will stop this is at the moment you're choosing the rage because you feel he needs to be punished. And you're not respecting the fact actually that God has already got all the laws in place where your father is going to be dealt with completely in fact. And in fact God knows exactly every single thing your father does. You don't even know what your father's done, right? You've got no idea really what... you. If you can imagine what he's done to you, what has he done to other women that he know, that he's known in your life? Right? So your father has done a lot more than what he's just done with you. And God knows everything he's done. God's laws know everything. They expose everything he's done. But because you want to punish yourself, you're actually attracting him back into your life. And in the spirit world, what he feels is this huge rage coming from you to him and he's feeling attracted to it. He wants to make your life even more miserable because of the rage that you're projecting at him. Do you, do you understand that? I just, I don't know how to get past the fear. Oh, well, no, no, the issue is not that. <laughs> the issue isn't the fear. The issue isn't the fear at all. The issue is really that you want to, you want to punish him. You want to do it. You want to do it. And you need to release that emotionally. Why do you want to punish him? He's an asshole. That's why. <laughs> and that's what you need to grieve like you're doing now, just that. Right? You need to grieve the fact that you do want to punish him and that, it, and that that's what you're holding <laughs> on to. Does that make sense? Ma many of you want to punish the people that have hurt you. Does that make sense? And the problem with doing this, wanting to punish the people that have hurt you, is you attract them back into your life so they can hurt you some more. And also, on top of that, you're damaging your own life still a lot by holding on to this rage and desire to punish. When I desire to punish somebody, or if I realise that all I'm trying to do is avoid my grief, then I will very, very easily get through this desire to punish. But that desire to punish creates the rage. Yeah? And while that desire to punish exists in you, every man who reminds you of your father is going to receive some of your punishment. See, I can't, can't, I can't see past mm. him. It's become so strong. That's right, yeah. I have conversations with various men who I know are very nice until this started to magnify and then I couldn't see them anymore. Yeah. 
it was just, and I began to see my father, particularly in my sons and with Peter, my brother. Yeah, yeah. I and can't see Peter at and all. And naturally your sons and Peter do have some of your dad's injuries, right? So they even remind you of your dad even more because of those injuries. It was so strong. Recently I had a conversation with Peter after getting really angry and overreacting about whatever it was. Yeah. And when I came back and had a conversation with Peter, Peter was his real self and I could see him. And, and when I actually felt into the situation, I realised I'd not responded to him, I'd reacted to my father. That's right. That the rage didn't belong to uh, It wasn't Peter. Peter's fault. No. It was your dad's. It had nothing to do with Peter. Yeah, that's right. But yeah. this is because you're holding on to this desire to punish your father rather than feel the grief about your dad and what he's done. Does that make sense? I understand intellectually what you're saying to me, but okay. I just don't... I, so here's a suggestion, practical suggestion for you. I want to push it, but I... I this is, here's a practical suggestion for you. Pray to God about how much you want to punish your father. Okay. Just do that this week. Okay. Pray to God about how much you want to punish your father, what you would like to actually do to your father. All the things, like even if you feel like stabbing him, cutting him up, whatever you feel like doing, pray to God about the feelings that you have about your father and how much you'd like to make him pay. I, I, I feel, have begun to feel love, love for the first time mm -hmm. and even what you've, I understand what you've just told me and I'll do exactly that, I'll do anything you tell me. Well, I'm not saying it. don't do that, Jen. You need to still trust But it feels intuition. unloving. <coughs> you see, that's the start of the question. Mm. The start of the question was, uh, I... What feels unloving? It feels unloving mm. to talk to God about how I, I want to rip him in half and, you know, yeah. <laughs> strew him to the other ends of the earth. But you see, it's when we like face that. our real emotions, our truth, our inside truth with God that God can start helping us shift them. You see, if we don't face our real truth inside of ourselves that we have with God, then God can't help us shift them. God knows you have this rage in you already. God knows what you want to do. What I'm suggesting is that you need to talk to God about it so that you know what you want to do. And this is the reason why you want to, you're using this to avoid this. You're using your desire to blame your father, your desire to punish your father, your desire to hurt your father in order to get away from your grief. So you're going to have to firstly feel this desire you have to hurt your father and punish your father and everything and talk to God about it. When you talk to God about it, you'll work through it really rapidly <coughs> and start connecting to this grief. Right? But if you still hold on to this desire to punish, you will keep kicking into rage with everyone, every man in particular around you or every person even that reminds you of a bit of your father's personality. You will feel that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So talk to God about how much you would like to hurt your dad and what kind of things you would like to do to your dad to make him pay for what you've done, for what he's done. Yeah? What else? By the way, notice that I'm not saying and act it out. So for all of those of you who just heard that advice and your fathers are alive, <laughs> don't you go acting it out. Right? What I'm saying is you need to pray to God about how you truly feel inside of yourself towards that person. Really feel those emotions and when you feel them, what will happen is God can then help you get to the next layer, whatever that next layer is, whether that's shame, guilt, or grief. Does that make sense to everyone? Certainly don't act them out because as soon as you act them out you're actually creating what you're trying to destroy. All right? Remember every time you try to destroy someone and anger and rage is a destructive process, you're not loving. <coughs>